when I was born, my mom really wasn't around for me. Dad was in jail. I was found with a broken leg, found in the closet with bugs all over me. So I realized like the people who actually should have had my back from the get-go weren't there for me. So she was into everything, she was breaking everything, she did not listen. Keisha did whatever Keisha wanted to do. I definitely would get more angry often. Well, when I got mad, I had problems expressing it. So I ended up fighting all the time. I wasn't thinking for myself. I would just jump into situations. Being around myself only helps me to get my thought process right, and I don't have other distractions. That's all I wanted all the way through 9th, 10th, 11th grade, and finally I got it here, and, I, and I'm doing better than I've ever done. So it's, it's pretty good. Amazing, Amazing stories created, created daily. daily. I take pride in my appearance because my appearance represents me. I am the first graduate of the autism school, the children's home. Yeah, I'm at University of Cincinnati. Yeah! You can read about it, and you can see it on TV, but until you go and you sit with somebody who's actually experiencing it, you just don't get it. I don't want to seem weak, you know what I mean? I figure anybody in this world could hurt me. So I, I really have trust issues, trust in people that want to help me. And once I came here, I realized that that's not going to get me anywhere. Like, I can't live with that attitude. And I'm still sure that I don't completely get it. I absolutely believe I will never understand what these kids go through. She has ADHD, so she'd be all over the place. Talking while the teacher was talking and not doing her work. Since she's been um, working with Meredith, she's actually calmed down a little bit. She is more able to focus on her work because I really didn't want to medicate her or anything. And to see that growth in her from where she came from is, is a really good thing. I have behaviors, I have labels of what society gives me. There was a moment in time where I thought, oh, I'm too good for schools like this, I'm too good for that. But once I learned that I have behaviors and the way I can deal with them is to come to the school and get help and then go back to regular school, they gonna help me with that? I felt as though that was my big chance. I'm just lucky. I'm blessed. I am one of the few people who has had the opportunity to be a mentor towards these children, and I, it a little bit makes me want to cry. As for the staff at the children's home, the teachers are great, everything's great. And the newspaper, the newspaper was my idea. It's not like a regular school. People think that the children's home is just here because we all have behavior issues and that's not it. Like we all have our different problems and they're here to help us. Just the individualized attention that we've, we've gotten with Ben. Not just in the way of working on the behavioral issues, but also having the academic needs addressed in a way that we wouldn't or we haven't been able to find anywhere else. They just keep pushing him. The actual thought that I might graduate, I've never had that thought in my life before. Like, now I see a, a nice straight path and I can see all the way down. I feel now that I'll be successful at life. When I grow up, I want to be a microbiologist, an artist, a video game designer, and a toy designer. Well, I wanted to start marine biology so I could make a video game about it. I want to be a doctor when I grow up. Um, something in IT, so probably fixing computers or networking or something like that. I would like to become a teacher or a mentor because the kids need that right now. Amazing, Amazing stories created daily. <laughs>